Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Int YouTube channel. In today's video, we are gonna talk about Python Pickle. Pickle is a Python built-in module that is used for serializing and deserializing Python object structures. We can preserve the object in files and later on we can read it by using Python Pickle. The process to convert any kind of Python objects into byte streams like 0 and 1 is called pickling and we can convert the byte stream that is generated through pickling back into the python objects by a process called as unpickling. List and dictionaries are objects in python. Let's understand pickling and unpickling process with help of examples. But first of all we have to import pickle module here. Import pickle. By importing pickle module we can do pickling and unpickling. Let's create a list of car and I'm gonna call it car list. Inside this car list we have famous car companies like Toyota. BMW. Audi. And we have Suzuki, and and we have Honda. Okay. All right. I have created a list of car companies. We are pickling this list. So let me write this here in the comment. Pickling. Okay. Now we have to open a file here to store the pickle of cars list with open so right here with open in open function we have to mention two things first of all we need to write a file name that in which our pickle will be stored I'm just gonna call it car list dot pickle dot pkl instead of this dot pkl you can either use dot txt file extension and write here wb so W means write and B means binary so we use WB because all the operations are done using the bytes and file is written in binary mode so we have to write here WB right here as and now we have to specify the object and I'm gonna call it car pickle right here pickle dot dump dump is a function that creates pickle it take two arguments the first argument is the object that we want to pickle and that object is car list and the second argument is the file object which is car pickle so right here now let's run it you can see that a new file is created here that is car list.pkl so let's open it up we cannot read it in this way because it is in binary mode. We have to unpickle this file so that we can read it. I am commenting this code because we have already pickled the list and we do not need it anymore. Let me write here unpickling. Okay. We have to open a file here so right here with open. So right here the name of the file that we want to unpickle that is car list dot pkl and here we have to write rb r means read and b mean binary so it will read the binary file create the object here and i'm gonna call it car pickle specify an object here in which the unpickle data will be stored to unpickle anything we use load function it takes the file name as an argument and return the object so write here load and here you have to write the object of the file so that is car pickle now print this my car object let's run it and you can see that it has unpickled the list data and it has printed in the console so in this way we can pickle and unpickle the data that is in the list the second example is the dictionary example 
and I'm gonna write the code in the fast forward mode and after this I will explain you this code so this dictionary is gonna be the student dictionary I have created a dictionary here that is the student dictionary and in this dictionary we have three student one is Mark two is John and three is Ben so again I have opened a file here and I have used pickle or dump method to create the pickle of this student dictionary so let's run it and you can see that it has created student list.pkl file here and in the same way let's unpickle it So let me just run this program and you can see that it has printed the student dictionary here. So in this way you can pickle and unpickle the list and the dictionaries. That's it from today's video. I hope you learned a lot about python pickle module. Keep following us on Linux and YouTube channel for more useful videos. Thank you.